This is the review for the WT Byway. These are 40s and this is the first bit of the ride and they are on the road and they are brilliant. Just fantastic. I thought they would have a quite a good footprint because of that. And they do. So they are definitely not slow. You can bash on and there is such a nice smooth ridge in the middle. And it's just, they just, yeah, brilliant. Impressed. All right, that's road done. Tick, win. What's next? Right, so now I've gathered my thoughts and I am off-road, which is where I, at the moment, prefer to be. It's a review with a brew. It is now that time of year when it's cold. I haven't put enough layers on and I've got a spare just in case it gets really cold. But a brew, can't beat a good brew. These tyres, WTB byways on the gravel or on the Lake District rocky stuff this is just like a trial loop just to give them a world proper so the smooth stuff was brilliant on the road these small little nobbles and then the side knobs i didn't think we we're going to be up too much and i'm going to have to play around with tire pressures but i think they're all right the back is certainly too hard at the moment but i am a bit anxious when it comes to dinging rims and not wanting snake bite punches but at the moment yeah good and that a little bit wider as well and i wondered if i could maybe run a wider one on the back and maybe have the 40 on the front if they do a 42 do they call it a mullet maybe so yeah right I'll crack on because over there it's sunny and the mud and the stones now we're going to try some grass cyclocross style so this ride is on the three rivers proving ground the perfect test bed for anything cycling because there's such variety and it's easy to get to so these tyres on the grass they don't at the moment inspire me with much confidence i was riding mountain bike last night with huge nobbles and uh, yeah didn't fall off everything was fine but they just yeah i don't know just not quite there yet maybe it's tire pressures i don't know Dear gentlemen, thank you very much. Cheers. on that way <laughs> well thank you <laughs> cheers
same around the dry stuff just when it's muddy when it's like brown dirty stuff it's wet and it looks slippery it is slippery but we'll keep going bash on Double puncher. What are the flipping chances? <laughs> right there. Okay, so brew. Review fail. Puncher, double. Only one tube. So I've stuffed a load of grass in. We'll see what happens. So I've got no choice because there's no phone signal. Okay, so it doesn't work on this sort of stuff because it's just too stony. But I'm sure when we got on the tarmac, I'll be able to roll in. Unfortunately, it might destroy the front tyre. I've double tubed it and stuffed a load of grass in, but there's not a lot of uh, protection there, so we'll just have to see what happens. <sighs> Bye, Eckers. Bye, Eckers. Same thing to you as you today as well. Is that right? Yeah, but in the front part. Alright, well I've got a double I've done a double. You did a double? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. So yeah, trying really hard. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Right, home. Survived. Borrowed a tube off somebody that I know who lives in Staveley and that got me home. So these tires aren't that great. The internet says or in the listing on the packaging it says hard pack pavement, dirt, gravel. They are not up to the Lake District snot. I was running high pressures because I was anxious about snake bite punches. And guess what I got? On both tyres, snake bite punches. I was probably going a bit hard. I was probably riding a bit quick for the terrain. So am I to blame? I don't know. All reviews are never going to be positive. This unfortunately isn't a positive review. My experience says these aren't that great and they don't want to stay upright in the Lake District mud. But other people may have a different experience. I have ordered just some 43 inch gravel kings i'm not going to bin these i'm going to use them i think they'd be a great road tire um, for the winter because they are really fast that narrow center section yeah really quick no drag so yeah there we go comment like and subscribe details for the ride will be in the description as always it was a ride it was a review it was great fun apart from the bit where i had to stuff grass in my inner tube see you next time